just wondering what was going to be. Okay. Just keep driving. <laughs> Just keep driving. Hello? Driving, driving, are you there, just Chris? keep to Oh my god, Chris, are you okay? Chris? Did we catch you at a bad time, Chris? <laughs> Should we call oh, back geez. later? Did you just sleep with your head And I love it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chris. Oh, hey, hey. It's the middle of the night. Yeah, we were uh, sorry we to wake you, but uh, we'd like for you to talk to us. I've been no. I hey, uh, no. I agreed to do it, and I'm and I'm happy to do it. I. Uh, you prepared I just, uh, a speech. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I I just was. Um, I'm kind of doing this all day. I've been working all day. Uh, for my uh, for my charity stream, uh, sleep through the cure. And, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm streaming uh, 24 hours of me asleep. And uh, people can call in and, and donate to keep me asleep. And, you know, every once in a while I do have to wake up and thank subscribers for, you know, three months, six months. Uh, that's been good. Of course. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm exhausted from that. So I was actually just now sleeping. <laughs> to rest from the sleeping. Right. Because okay. I got to get my eight before I can get my, my the 16, the other 16. The other 16. So it's the real sleep and then the... So, charity sleep. Okay, so when it's, people call... It's like sleeping, you're on. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, uh -huh. It's a different kind of sleep. Well, you right. know people are watching. Right, exactly. So you kind of have to be on your best. Like, you have to, you know, sleep toward the camera and sort of cheat certain angles out. <laughs> it's very difficult. So it's you, a challenge. You said people call in. Uh, when they call, do you talk to them? Or is it just like a voicemail system? Or... Well, it depends on what they, what, how many bits I get, but usually, you know, for at a certain threshold, I will snuffle or sort of make a snore sound, uh -huh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then that's how they know that you know their money's it counts where they where they put it. Yeah, you've acknowledged. Do you do you yeah. talk in your sleep? How many bits for you to like say something while sleeping? Oh, like talk in my sleep? Yeah. That's what we're talking about. You know, eight thousand or something like that. We're going real high. Mm -hmm. Fair. I can't give that away. Right, no, that's it's reasonable. For the, it's for children. Now, now Chris, have you, have you thought about bringing some more people in to help you out with the, uh, you know, r running this organization for you? You know, some people who can, you can get down there and do the real hard work for you, sleep so that you can, you know, go home and get some sleep. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense, but, I mean, then I'd have to share the credit. <laughs> <laughs> right. Makes sense. And I'm just not willing to do that. I think that's something we can all relate to, yeah. Uh huh. Wow. So do you have like a web page that people can <laughs> go and? Uh, no, no, I don't. Uh, it's just been me sleeping. And if you know where it is, then you go to it. And if you don't know, then I'm sorry out of luck. So. <laughs> it's very exclusive sounding. It is. It's an incredible, incredibly exclusive club. And uh, if you subscriber, you get photos of me sleeping. Mm. There is, you know, past uh, broadcasts. So a lot of a lot of cool stuff. You, you, you gotta be in the know. This sounds there, a little bit more like a cam girl kind of thing than a charity. Ex you know what? Uh, there is a market for that. <laughs> uh, and I, mean, I'm a boy, so. It's Cam Boy. Okay, Cam Boy. Cam Boy, Chris Strobe. And his name and his name is Chris. So Chris Boy. This is... Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Spiciest of boys, Chris Strobe. Here, everyone. That is that is awesome and terrifying. I would like to subscribe to your newsletter. <laughs> yeah, channel. It. Well, yeah. So. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Remember when we were friends? Anyway. <laughs> Uh, so who got in there? What's going on? Well, we got myself here in the co-pilot position. Uh, my name's Ian Horner. You may remember me from those times that we met each other a few <laughs> times. That's probably the capacity in which I remember everybody. In yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on, the, on the couch here, we've got uh, Megan. We've got Kelly. We've got Hi. Johnny. Hey, how's it going, we Chris? We have Matt. Hi. Hi. Dave's rounding out the couch crew on there. And Hi. currently, I believe... The Liz is driving. Right. Uh, how, is how you doing, Liz? I'm doing all right. How you doing? Okay. Okay. You getting enough rest? <laughs> I'm worried about you, man. No. Actually, <laughs> I, I want to show you. Uh, it may not work, 
but like I was gonna try and do the, the angle from above, and I and I set a camera up there, but it's just it's too hard of an angle for me to keep my my head up at. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you were really dedicated. My effort for this, for this bit. Well, it seems like a high quality stream. There's multiple cameras. This is, oh, yeah. This Get is big coverage. time. <laughs> Literally, coverage like of what are the states of the sheets that they're in? <laughs> I don't know how much, how cold I might be. You, you, you've literally described in this, like, your. Your charity fundraiser is literally my nightmare during this charity fundraiser. Oh, sleeping Which well. is that I wake up and I think people are watching me. Yeah. And, and I wake up and I'm like, oh God, I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> and the stream is watching. And uh, it's like, oh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. That's I, when you've gone full bus. Yeah. I, to, this is what, the fourth or fifth day? Fourth, fifth? Fifth day. Fifth. It's not the, oh. it, we haven't gone through five full days, but we're, we're in the, the fifth, fifth day. day. We are on the, okay, so this is, this is usually about the, t oh, how the many, how many buttons do we have? I can tell you how many days it's been. <laughs> uh, this is about usually when I start having those dreams where I can't, I can't pee because everyone is watching me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, you should pee while you're sleeping. <laughs> yeah, well, that's another yeah. story. Do we have questions yeah. for Chris? <laughs> like all at once. You guys are not sleeping and not urinating on camera, but let me handle that <laughs> for everyone. Thank you. Can. I really appreciate Thank that. Thank you for your sacrifice I'm and your so service. Glad to hear that you were out there sleeping and urinating for the people who need it. People in need. That's real friendship. Wow. <laughs> for so, the children. Oh, uh, I'm not a hero. Uh, it's just my job. So while we go to you here, Chris, uh, we've we've got some uh, people here who are, aren't watching your stream at the moment. We've of course. got some here, but they, they do have some questions for you, and uh, they're they're asking what's on their mind right now is what is your favorite Pokemon? Oh gosh, I, I don't <laughs> enjoy that. <laughs> That's a good Pokemon. Yeah, enjoy that. Yeah, perfect. Even if I have fun. How would I be able to find it again? <laughs> it's not exactly a, not exactly an easy thing to do. They're so small. Hey, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice transition. Any future plans for Local 58 that you can give without spoiling anything? I love the concept. And that was asked by Crazy Max 46. Uh, here's my problem. I, I finished another one, and I uploaded it to YouTube without check whether or not the um, music I was using was unlicensed. Ooh. I looked it up and it said it was unlicensed. YouTube says it was not. <laughs> so, and because it kind of figures heavily into the thing, Aww. it's like, yeah, I already work it now. Oh, that's it just takes the copyrights, it just, they ruin art. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oil art. 100% true. Now, is it the music that actually is licensed, or is it just a uh, like a, a mistake? Because I, I once actually posted something that was just the sound of fire, and there was a band that was apparently attached to that particular sound of fire. <laughs> was it Earth, Wind, and? <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 It was Earth, Wind, and Fire. Uh, no, I, it's probably a mistake. Or what I've read is that so many places can freely claim that they own something and it doesn't hurt to try for them. But it's, it's like hold music. It's like from the 60s. Nobody owns this anymore. Nobody was alive back then. <laughs> 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 the states are long buried. How, how, how is it that the internet is actually infecting or is being infected by the 60s like that? I don't know. How did it get in? I don't know either. Well, maybe we've got some more f questions here from our audience members. Has there been a horror story that you wished that you liked more? Has there been a horror story that you wished you liked more than you did? So you had high expectations oh, for it. Yeah. Do any of you have examples? I can think of one. Well, uh, I am scared easily and can't stand horror. So, all glad so to be on this them? call yeah. with you, Chris. Uh, we, should we give the background that Chris, this is like his area of expertise? I think maybe that's, maybe, you know, maybe we should actually provide some actual oh, context for this did call. Did we introduce Chris at all? I called him no. a Gamineer cartoonist. No. That's true. That's good enough. <laughs> I think on the website we list him as humor scientist. Yeah, because you've, you've done 
an incredible amount of things over the years. You've, you've done comics. Amount is true. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> and we appreciate your efforts. Stuff aficionado. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm blanking because this is terrible. Yeah, I remember Star Slip and... Well, yeah. sure. And let's see what else is there. Um, Brood Hollow. Yep. Uh, I wrote Candle Cove, which was adapted for sci-fi. Yeah. Uh, what else was there? Ooh, I just watched the second season of Channel Zero, which is No End House, which is another creepypasta they adapted. Mm -hmm. I thought it was so good. Ooh. I thought it was incredibly good. That's good. Uh, oh, but anyway, a story that I, a horror story that I wish I would have liked more. I was, I just mentioned this on Twitter recently. Do you remember the game uh, Clive Barker's Undying? I, I remember that it exists. Yeah, yeah, that's that's enough for me uh, that you would remember that it exists. But when I played it, I. It was like, you know, feeding you little details. It's like, well, what's the scary thing going to be at the end? What does the story mean? And I had pieced it together, so I thought, and I was so chilled by what I had pieced together. It was like, oh, I can't wait for the reveal. And then the end came, and it was not at all what I thought, and it was, like, a lot less scary than what I thought. <laughs> Even though, like, all of the pieces were there to, to delight me, but... I think that that game had like development problems and they rushed the ending or something. So it's not, I'm not ready to write off as, a, as, as they messed it up, but I, like everything was there for me to enjoy and then I did not enjoy it ultimately. So you're saying that they didn't mess it up, but you could have done it better? I guess. I think that it, but then again, isn't always, isn't the, like the unknown always scarier? Like, oh, what's going to happen? Like the puzzle is more frightening than resolution. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Yes, right. I totally agree with you. You are right. Tension. Thank you. I'm scared. <laughs> she, Liz is scared of you, but she's scared of many things. Oh. I'm scared of Skype. You're that bus. I, I would be afraid of that bus if I were you. Holy, she's flying around. Woo! It's like the device is on or something. You're <laughs> driving slippy. Well, while we're talking about things that are, are, are speedy like that, uh, there is another nice. question. Please. And that would be, and yeah, we can all answer. What is your favorite variant of faster than light travel? And I'm very curious about this. Oh myself. gosh, um, that's a tough one. Wait, what's what? good? Mm -hmm. like, I, I, I'm a big fan of Space Fold myself. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I agree. Like, as far as ones that are not joke ones, mm -hmm. I don't even really know any other way you can go. Uh, yeah, I like, do like, I mean, the, the conceit of Star Slip also was in, ah, shoot, what was the book? Scalzi. It was yeah, Old Man's War. Yeah, I like that book. Uh, which I was like, oh, I like that idea. Uh, it was like a concurrent, I was trying to think of what was, what's a drive that no one would come up with because it doesn't make a lot of sense. But, like, he also used it. It's a good drive. Mm -hmm. What are the other ones, if, if not folding space? Well, I mean, what else do people do? We've, we've got the, the, the classic Star Trek warp drive, which manipulates yeah, you the mass. you got the uh, wormhole travel, wormhole. which is fun. Sure. Uh, I think Futurama used a system that uh, moved the entire universe around the ship, rather than, which was a really clever idea. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. You just can't, there's like a finite number. Yeah, I, I mean, I like I like puzzling it out, but I think yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do? You gotta fold it, you gotta pack in those higher dimensions. Yeah, higher that's, dimensions. That's the only way to go. The other the other reason I like that uh, folding is it lets you imagine the universe is some sort of a taco, <laughs> and I'm always down for thinking about tacos. Uh huh. Yeah. Could it be a space burrito? Anything food related, I think. Yeah. Wait, would yeah. the burrito be the wormhole? Whoa. I guess that's the thing. The burrito goes all around it. The taco is the U shape. Is the important idea of being able to jump from one small jump to the other. Whereas if you flatten it, they're further apart. Right. That's what you're thinking about, right? Yeah. yeah but if you loop, if you loop that around like a, a burrito with a full roll, mm -hmm. then think about that tiny distance. Like it's not like you're jumping across that the two edges of the shell. Yep. It's right there. Yep. They're right on top of each other. Yeah. What happens if the, yeah? What happens if things are inside too? Then you get a leakage. That's a wormhole. <laughs> Just a leaky burrito. 
drive system. Yeah. <laughs> It's a discovery, I think. Burrito right? yeah. Drive online. TM, TM, TM. Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's in the second season of Star Trek Discovery. Yeah. <laughs> the Burrito <laughs> Drive? Yes. Yeah. This, this is good, because I think what we're doing here by, by working our way down these questions is revealing all of your all of your varied and, uh, and uh, all the varied work that you do. Wow, I'm bad at this. Uh, you've done Pokemon, clearly. You've uh, done World of 58. Yeah, that's okay. It's okay, Ian. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Question, we believe in you. Question number five: What do you hope to explore in explore as Chris in season three of the C Team? Oh gosh, this is like so. In the C Team, we spent this past season two. The first episode was an extreme flash forward to the end of the season, and then we Whoa. spent the whole season seeing how that would come about. Mm -hmm. So the fact that we now are, when the show starts up again uh, in uh, South, the fact that we're not building toward a thing is really stressful. <laughs> it's like I don't know where we're headed. It was such an easy flip to the back of the book and then figure out how we ended up there. But now it's like not just all open water. Mm. I don't know what, what I will explore. Uh, any conflicts to resolve? I don't know what to go to. Any platonic relationships to explore or modify? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I would love for Catrice and Walnut to be friends again and find a way into that. What did you do? I'm sorry. I don't oh, actually watch spoilers. your stuff. So no, I just, listen, are you guys not friends now? I, is this like an actual thing with you and Amy or is this like a character thing? No, Amy and I are like, like I'm bummed because like both of us are... At least maybe she's better at managing her feelings than I am. But when that stuff happened, I'm like, oh, I guess I'm not allowed to talk to Amy anymore. Aww. Like, like I had to somehow carry it out. Just very method in your acting. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> no, but it's good. It's a good season. If you haven't watched two, that's not a huge spoiler. There's way worse spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> well, quest that was from Whitefire in the chat. Uh, up next, we've Thanks, got a, a follow-up question, it looks like, from RMF Comimat. And uh, this is in reference, I think, to those times that you've put on the makeup to don the very skin of Kthris. How does yes. the blue paint taste? <laughs> you know what? It doesn't taste like anything. It's got on there and it stayed put. And I'm pretty impressed by it. The first time I wore any of the makeup, I did not put it on the palms of my hands oh. because I was afraid that it would smear. And uh, it looked a little bit silly on stage, oh. but it does not smear at all. It doesn't go anywhere. Oh. You can eat in it. I mean, it wears off over time, but for th three, four hours, it's solid. Mm. And then it takes a very long time <laughs> to wipe off. And it takes a lot of makeup remover and wipes and it stings the eyes a lot. Oh my gosh. But makeup is fine. It's getting off of it's not fun. <laughs> so you're willing to, to don, the, don the skin once more? Or is, is this oh, just yes. A, okay. I would, love to, I would love to wear it like around, just so that I don't have to take it off right away. Mm -hmm. So maybe spend like an additional couple hours, just full method. Eat a meal. Yeah, I want to be. I want D and D to stand for Daniel Day Lewis. I want to be the method actor. Right, literally live. That's the dragons. Yeah. yeah. Literally live a day in the skin of of your character. Yeah. Ew. Um. <laughs> so I have to apologize to our guest and to the internet. Well, not all the internet, most of you guys. To our chat and uh, I crash the bus. But I blame Chris for being way too entertaining that I just lost track of time. Also, Ben was gone, so I blame Ben. What else happens? Um, How did this happen? How can this be? Yeah, yeah. Uh, because of Ben, really, because Ben was gone. and I went and got... Your mic's still not working, Ben. <laughs> I went and Still got... not working. <laughs> Maybe we can just get the camera on Ben, and maybe he, we can just read his lips. Um, Here, I'll do his voice. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's exactly what he said. How did you know? 
That, oh, okay. That is nothing like what it's I still not working, man. This, this is, is great. Right. This is the most entertaining this thing ever. Can, uh, can we get a picture of Ben trying to talk? Okay. Yeah! <laughs> He angrily got to the mic. <laughs> I was like, Chris is doing his thing. I can go pee. Nope. I, I, I will never leave you again, Liz. Yeah, no, I thought we kept jars back there just for this problem. <laughs> we do not keep jars back there. No, it's just a thing of Clorox wipes. So I'll be, I guess I'll be, I, I have a Coke can. So. I mean, there we go. That's what I have. It's the same shit that I use. We were, we, were, we were saying that like any time like the, uh, the the feed gets a little bit choppy from your end, it's because you're also streaming and you're dividing the bandwidth between the two. <laughs> <laughs> so we are, we we are, I, I I apologize for any compression issues you're having on Twitch right now, dividing between the two. The two streams. Yeah. We've got to come up with a name for this new driver. You got anything for us, Chris? You got a name idea? It's. It, I think you can only do five letters, or can you do six? Uh, we had uh, Ash Drew earlier, so that's. Seven. Can we do seven, blame okay. Ben? Is there a room? Is there a hashtag? <laughs> there is no hashtag. So, so just. No. Oh. Um. What if you just name it like five letters of a crash? Like yep. the crash itself is driving the bus now. Um, that's cool. Yeah. I like that. I, I also like what you have currently. Mm. Choco. There's no H. <laughs> Coco. Uh, Coco. Coco. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. Don't do it. Crash is good. I, I like that because we can also pretend it's an oblique reference to the old film Hackers. Uh, yes. Wow. Oh, yeah. Crash override. Yeah, there we go. Do you remember when they remember hackers? Gosh, when they would like we're hacking, and there would be like screens, and they were, and it was Pen. Yeah. Pen was in that movie. Yeah. What? Well, I did. really? Yeah. Yeah, Vangelat was in it as the like, like the evil hacker guy yeah. in in the like building trying to take down the other hackers. I used to go back no, he was working again. for um, uh, the that what's that skinny guy? Lawrence. No. no, it was the guy that was in the Short Circuit Fish, movies. Fisher, Fish, Fisher Stevens. Oh, Fisher, Fisher Stevens. Stevens. Yeah. Oh man, him in Short Circuit. Don't watch Short Circuit oh. again. Oh, it's so hard to watch. Oh, God. Yeah. But, but uh, he's uh, he's I can't remember Zero Cool. Is that his name in? Or is that one of the other hackers' names? That is one of the other hackers. He's got a names. name like that though. He's got a hacker name as well. I can't remember what it was. Chris, do you come out here and tell us that this is like hacking? Okay, so we'll all be watching uh, hackers after the uh, after the run, then I guess. Great. Right. You get to get these names straight. Chris, do you want to come up here and watch Hackers with us? Yes. Cool. Perfect. That sounds like a good fundraising stream. Yeah. We'll just watch it over <laughs> and over and we'll over. We'll watch it, and Chris will just sleep in the background. <laughs> yeah. It'll be great. Hackers watch for hope. <laughs> well, I know that you're very proud of this particular fundraiser that you put together here, but uh, Joe's Fox would like, Joe's Fox would like to know what project you worked on over the past year that you are uh, that you would consider to be your favorite? And I'm going to split that question in two and ask: What's the mo your favorite that you've made for public consumption, and what's your favorite that you've done just for you? Did you have time to like do my, that? My PP. <laughs> yeah. You I did a good one. Yep. <laughs> Earlier this week, it was a real good one. Good project. It's a good. Get out. No, you can't. It's gone. Uh, I think the, what I'm most proud of publicly is C Team. Like it's such a, it's I'm so, I'm so pleased to be a part of that that table. I um, get modeling. I see how it gets in. It gets inside. You know. Yeah. It's you. Hey, I have a follow up question to that. Just to cut off the rest of your answer, um, when you were like uh, approached and signed up for C Team, did you have any idea it would be what it is? No. I'm only ever prepared for things to not go well. <laughs> I didn't, so yeah, I had no idea, like, oh, I'm going to plan for this to be, you know, something that I can, I'll be excited about in the future. That's, no, nah, I don't do that. <laughs> but then I'm always surprised and excited about things that, when they go well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled to be part of it. Um, 
privately, what would you, even if I answered it, you wouldn't know what it meant. I just mean, like, How about you your child? Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> but then, isn't that an expected answer to... Like, I was, I was like, expecting something like a, a pancake recipe you'd come up with, or... I built the coolest... Uh, I have a child, I don't remember that. <laughs> what are you talking about? Touché. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Sorry, we're being slow rolled and really slow rolled by our engineering department right now with a Wii Shop music that will play a couple notes. At this point, it's every ten minutes or so. <laughs> That's it? It's just, it's just three notes? Yep. Does it carry on forward from that point? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, why? And that's the last we'll hear of the Wii Shop music for, I'm going to say, probably about till 11.40. <laughs> ben? You know what? Remember when I was blaming Ben for being gone? <laughs> yeah, now we can blame him for being back. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Oh, just a camera. Okay. Hey, Chris. Yeah. We missed you, buddy. I know that we had talked about you coming up here uh, this year. I'm sorry that you couldn't make it. Um, but I feel like this is a more intimate experience since we're in your bedroom. It's okay. And, and this is, I'd much prefer it. You know, I'd rather have it this way than anything else. So maybe next year, instead of me going up there and sleeping in a bed, everybody can come into this bedroom and just, and just shoot it here. That sounds great. I think that's cool. We can probably make that decision right now. Yeah, we should just, yeah, just, text just decide now let know before anything else. Next year. Here we go. We've got yeah. a venue for next year. Yeah, the year. venue is always the most stressful and tricky part for those that's last true. couple of months yeah. before you start. Awesome. We're going to take you up on that. I'm sure Marlo is okay with it. It's uh -huh. settled, yeah. It's done. Great. This isn't even the main bedroom. This is a guest bedroom downstairs. Oh, wow. wow. Everybody's, everybody's asleep. You can have this entire... Uh, six by eight room. <laughs> Perfect. What, what, what kind of mattress? Still roomier than Desert Bus One. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> what kind of a mattress you got there? Queen size. It's a pillow top. Uh, it's a firm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, oh. Mm. And uh, it's. I think it's a queen. Okay. It sleeps too. Ooh, good, good. I'm not really into firm mattresses. That might break it for me. Uh, firm we'll see. Can we put an air, right. air mattress yeah. on top of that. No, but it is a high, it is a pillow top, like I said, so you're talking about being five, five and a half feet off the ground at that point. Ooh, you gotta worry about like, that's a lethal that. fall height. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's dangerous right there. You don't want to gate. <laughs> it's a little fence to put around it. Yeah, it's not safe. Nobody's going to die at Desert Bus on my watch. Oh, we appreciate you'll, that. You'll have to stay up there. <laughs> <laughs> you can't afford the insurance. No, he'll just drag us out of the house off the property line, and then officially, time of death is then. That got dark. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, gosh, I forgot all about when that happens, if that happens. <laughs> yes. well, let me see if I can bring the mood back up with another question from our chat here. This one from Whitefire, and uh, they want to know, in a bright and cheery way, what sort of appeasement to a dark deophage do we need to make in order to get more cadaver slash proust RP in our lives? I oh gosh, don't. I don't know. It's a special uh, little French skeleton that I think only works as a little uh, amuse bouche, mm -hmm. little, little little sampler. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I, I feel like every time. And then Proust was this was basically me doing a French voice for a skeleton in the C Team Halloween okay. games. And that one, whenever I get to do that, it's like, I don't want to do Cthulhu anymore. This is way more fun. This is so much more enjoyable. But it, I think it only works in a small dose, special time of year, like eggnog. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't want it year-round. Best when you're not expecting it in, in small doses, but then good to put it away to age for a while. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, surprise eggnog. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Unanticipated. Yeah, like you're expecting orange juice, and oh no, surprise, oh. eggnog. Oh. Everyone oh. loves that, right? Oh. Everyone My loves favorite. that. My <laughs> favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh. no, I hate eggnog, it's bad, right? Oh, eggnog's it's awful. It's filth. It's disgusting. Ew. I'm with you, Chris. Gotta make your own eggnog. Uh. <laughs> okay. Well, Chris, thank you for your time. <laughs> On that disgusting yeah. note, 
Don't have any and, you know, stay healthy. Don't drink new eggnog. Don't drink old eggnog. Just don't That's drink my it. message to the viewing audience. Just let wow. that eggnog be. Life lessons with Chris. Thank you. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Chris, we loved when you came up, but we also love when you call in. Thank you so much for, for you know, sharing a brief respite from your wonderful charity to help us with our small little charity. With our small okay, little charity. Cover that ground in no time. I'll make it back up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sleep it's well. Pleasure to have you as always. Farewell. Goodbye. Bye. 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 He's still waving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did, we did. Yay. We went away, but uh, he stayed. Did you just hang up on him? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, okay. That, that is what you do at the it's, end of a phone At the phone end call. of a phone Well, call. I just thought maybe you guys would be like, thank you for taking yeah, we the talk, time. Yeah, we do it in text chat. Yes. I just had a major moment of deja vu. You've done this, you've done this before? <laughs> <laughs> My when have you have ever done anything like this before, Ian Horner? Are What's you okay? changed, Ian? Do you want to take a break? Do you want to just get some coffee or... Some self reflection and think about your life choices. Did you see two kitties? I've I've made some very I've made some very terrible decisions in my life, and I wish I wish I wish I could take them back. Is one of them being so Johnny? No. Yes. Okay. So we heard that you got distracted. I did not. A little bit. No. Not at all. Oh. Oh. Okay. Not me. I feel like I took over because someone else got distracted. Ian was driving. Hey, Kathleen, that's not. That's that's amazing. That is not 